Hello everyone, this is Nick the Man once again, and this time around I have some gameplay for you guys with Mixed Red Armored, I believe. Yeah. Um, not too different from Soviet Armored, really. Just less super heavies, more T-80 spam, um, better mortars. Yeah. Not too much to say about it. Uh, infantry tab is actually a bit more useful. But, uh, oh jeez, that was quite quick. Uh, well, let's get right into this. I'm gonna buy maybe not that many T-80s. But we're gonna push around here in Fedor. Um, I'm gonna put man pad, grenade launcher, recon tank, and some infantry over there on the left to hold Boris. Um, we'll just start with a spawn CV. We'll actually switch to an armored CV just in case our opponent is feeling a little bit more helo heavy than uh, is socially acceptable. Um, but I think that's a good number of tanks. We're going to get a book for heavy AA. We're going to get a PGZ and an Igla team for infrared AA. And let's see, the town. Throw a Conqueror's team in the town along with the, the Igla. Um, reconnaissance. Probably put that one somewhere over. Put that this one down around that area. Uh, put one in the town and probably put the other one on the left there. And we still have a good amount of points for infantry. So we're just going to buy some Yakari squads and grenade launchers. I'm wondering if we're missing anything here. I think... Oh, mortar, of course. And that rounds everything out, so uh, let's get right into this. This is a Halo Rush. I think we're screwed, though. But that's okay. Buy another one of these? Yes, I did. Okay, cool. Put the Akari up there. I'll key this, turn that off, move it. There, I guess. Thanks out there. Conquerors in the town. There's a T64 BB. We also would like to get out there. And... To put the Igla over there. Get the recon in there. There we go. Stop the pram. Start smoking there. Get our second CV out, because he is... Actually, you know what? We'll... Maybe US. Because we'll find out soon. Yeah, it looks like US. That was a Black Hawk. So we need to be worried about. Uh, Alright, we actually want to get the grenade launchers in there if we can. A lot of Bradleys. We're going to get some base defense. I'll deal with that in a moment. Now I need to make sure my tank micro over here is on par. Uh, poor buck. Jesus. Uh, 30 AP does not fuck around. And I think we've actually done quite poorly over here against that M1A2. Need to pull these tanks back. Another T80 in there. Oh, 
Walkers should not be moving up. This book should be back there. This needs to stop moving. It needs to continue to smoke those off. Igla, Granatomets, Yakari, Mitsviac, Transports, there we go. Nice crit. Okay. Yeah, it really did not go very well for us there. We did not micro our units, uh, our tanks specifically. All that great. I'm trying to think about what we can actually do here to come back. I think we just need to get T80s in there in close range, but our units are not going to last very long here. I fear. Shouldn't have bought the uh, the CV so early. And should have let him get a, a bit of a point advantage and then bought more tanks. Because if we had, we maybe wouldn't have lost <laughs> everything we put into uh, into play over there. C one A two though. Maybe we'll nah. not today. Oh, he has two M1A2s. That, that's definitely part of the problem. Did not see very much in the way of AA, though. So, uh, maybe an SC25T or something wouldn't be a bad idea. Though I don't really enjoy getting to uh, tank heavy this early. Find a lot of CVs here. Here we are, gonna lose our scout though to that dab. Don't have anything in position to stop it. Let's see if we can maybe get some ground over here though. Yeah, we actually have a decent number of T80s there, but we don't have anything to screen for them. And we don't have any more out damage weapons. I should probably either buy a Buratino or more, more tanks. I think we'll get the tanks, honestly. I should get two. No, 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 no. That's not the right call. We do need a Buratino. We need to get a Panic tool out uh, fairly rapidly if we want to clear out the. Uh, the M1A2s, because if they're panicked, they're not going to be hitting, and if they're not hitting, they're not going to be killing. And we have five T80s, that should be fine. Very, very cheap ASF. I suppose that he must be worried about me buying an ISF and dealing with him there. But yeah, it might be a bit of a mistake for him to have purchased that. Moving up right one. Mm. 
Lay down some smoke for the Veratino. Reverse our T-80s back. Decent cover. I don't think we were able to panic the, uh... The M1A2s there. That should have done it, though. So now we'll see if we can roll over him with T-80s. Them when A2s. Maybe we'll just take the forest here instead. Buy some supply trucks for the Burrettino. This in there. That's a long bow. Fuck. L17. Longbow should go down here though, hopefully. Yeah, it does. It's very good. We actually need this Baratino to hit that forest there. Put the Akari in there. Get this T80 back in there. We did lose it, but we were able to uh, clear out his uh, things there. We may actually be able to kill his uh, Z1A2s here. Yeah, he's brought them in very, very close here, and that's very, very dangerous for him to have done. Just need a close. We'll actually get that SC-25T out. But these T these M one twos are gonna die here. Ain't nothing gonna change that. There we go. And that's both of them. Perfect. That's exactly what we needed to have happen here. We're just gonna attack move forward. I wanna well first things first, I wanna make sure this Hesi 25T stays alive. Mop up the remainder of his forces there. We will keep these M one threes over there. Get some more recon into position. And we'll pull this back before it gets itself hurt. But uh, we've done our job, and we're going to keep rolling forward over that CV while he doesn't have defenses for it. That's the Humvee. There it goes. Put that one into position over there. Put those. Getting ourselves a bit too close here. Another longbow. Fuck. That's not really ideal. We're going to lose a good amount of our T-80s because we overextended, but we should be able to trade it back out. Longbow's dead. Okay, we lost four T-80s for our longbow. It's not a good trade, but it's not nearly as awful as it could have been. We will, they will need to be replaced. There we go. We did get his uh, aircraft there, and we did kill his CV. All in all, the situation isn't ideal, but it could certainly have been worse. We still have our C-25T, we still have his T-80. I want to get that T-80 over in the center. I want to take that back. I need to get more T-80s up. Carrier 2. Interesting. Not certain why I would have bought that. Yeah, oh god, I really don't want to lose the SC-25T here, though, if I can avoid it. 
Yeah, we'll be okay. It'll get out. Okay, sweet. You may have wanted to kill the Buratino. I suspect that's it, actually. We do manage to take out that aircraft, though. It's good. Those in position. Get all three of these heroes back to the fob. Get the fob up. Get some more man pads around. Another T-80. That's really what the deck is. It's T-80 spam and smoke usage to close distance. That's really all there is to it. Another Harrier 2. What is he going for? Is he going for this tank again? I think he's trying to get his planes killed. We might actually get out here. No, we managed to miss four missiles. And we hit the last one. Still, though, certainly not the uh, best that could have come out. But we control the low ground here. We have, we have very, very good positions. And it looks like he may be surrendering just because he's so off foot here. Yeah. 700 uh, kills more than losses here. So he must have had very, very little on the field indeed. And Buratino, not very valuable in terms of kills, but it's really all about the morale damage there. It allows our T-80s to do work. The book certainly paid itself off. And the SC-25-2 is more just insurance to make sure we did kill both of those M1A-2s, even if he did decide to reverse them. But, uh... There's one of the M1A-2s, and the other one is... M1A-2, M1A-2, there we go. But yeah, um, another pretty textbook game with armored. Morale damage, T-80s, smoke. Yeah, not much else to say. Uh, I hope this was entertaining. I will hopefully have longer videos out uh, shortly as well. Till next time, folks.